11 award winning sports persons from Manipur including Mirabai Chanu, uh, Anita Chanu, Kunjadani Devi, Sarita Devi, uh, Sandhya Devi. They have written to the Union Home Minister Amit Shah and asked him to ensure that peace prevails. I want to quickly cut across to India today's Indrajit Kundu joining us from Ground Zero. Uh, Indrajit, the Home Minister sought 15 days time. What can be achieved in these 15 days given the heightened tensions between the Maites and the Cookies? Well, Gaurav, you know, uh, uh, trust between these two communities, these two, uh, you know, ethnic communities, very important ethnic communities in Manipur is at its highest level at this point in time. And therefore, what Amit Shah did was bring all stakeholders on the table over the past 48 hours. His message was loud and clear. People must shun violence across the board. Uh, just a short while back, Chief Minister Bireen Singh has also come up with a statement saying, uh, appealing to that uh, all civilians who now have, uh, you know, arms and ammunition. In fact, we have been reporting how uh, in the past few days, several armories have been looted. So he has appealed everybody to give up arms. Okay. And the task is clearly cut out for security agencies, the army, the central paramilitary forces and the police. Because unless, of course, there is a peace, one cannot hold these peace talks. But what has uh, made, uh, you know, this entire process very quick, there has to be a deft political maneuvering on part of the central government. You know, the, the sports community says that they just cannot, uh, you know, live uh, in Manipur right now, and we need a political. That's the separation. question. That's the question I was coming to. You spoke to representatives of the Kuki organizations. They said they want a separate entity, uh, and they do not want to be a part of Manipur. The sportspersons have also written to the chief minister and to the union home minister, saying. The Kuki terrorists are challenging the integrity of Manipur by killing people and burning houses. This kind of language, this kind of terminology and this kind of tension between the two. What's the common middle, middle ground? Well, that would be the most difficult job, Gaurav, to, uh, to find a common middle ground at this point in time because, uh, you know, both sides are sticking to their ground and they have taken a hardline stance. So it will require a lot of political maneuvering. But before that, before the dialogue process can begin, because it's, it seems like going to be a long haul, it requires a political solution. But on ground, law and order situation must prevail. The writ of the government and law and order must prevail. Manipur, my and you, has gone through curfew for the last one month. There is ban on internet. Essential commodity prices have shot up. Potato is selling for 80 rupees per kilo. Petrol is selling in black from 150 rupees to 300 rupees. And in a sense, we are going back to uh, a, a decade back in Manipur where yes. we have seen similar scenes where there are road blockades, essential commodities not being allowed into various locations. Uh, and that seems to be the case. So are we heading back to those dark uh, period in Manipur where we have seen long amount of conflict? In that Rajiv, is the fear amongst people. That story? We'll have to wait and watch yes. very uh, carefully as to how things unfold. I'll, I'll come back to you for more. Stay safe uh, for the moment. Many thanks.